what up fight world man it's your boy banco boxing and um today i'll be talking about what i think sean porter should do versus errol spence stay tuned what's good everybody man thank you for clicking on the video man if you're watching this make sure you hit that bell icon the subscribe button share this on your social media but hey i uh i was listening to sean porter's interview on uh sway in the morning and he said some things in the interview uh i don't really feel like finding it right now so i'm just gonna try to quote him on it but he was saying what he's going to try to do to Errol Spence is do some stuff that he's not used to and he alluded to when he fought Keith Thurman he went in there and fought Keith Thurman as if he wasn't you know this this knockout puncher one time he fought him as if he didn't have power um, when he fought Danny Garcia he fought Danny Garcia a little different he was trying to counter Danny a lot and he ended up getting the victory he boxed with Ugas so he said he's looking to do something he don't expect him to do so I am pretty curious of what he expects to, well, I know what he said. He said, we've seen Errol in there with people, but we've never seen him in there with a person who's going to throw combinations at him. Now, Sean ain't really known as like just the biggest combination puncher. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, I know he's probably just going to try to keep on going to his body. And something I thought about um, after watching that was uh, I was watching, I was on my YouTube homepage and the Andre Ward Sergey Kovalev fight came up. And disclaimer, I'm not comparing Sean Porter to Andre Ward by any means. But the funny thing is that people were, you know, well, because they thought Kovalev won the first fight. But even in the first fight, Ward did something that people didn't think he was going to do. He bullied the bully. He fought dirty, fought on the inside. He did whatever it took, took to win. And. And the second fight, that was even more evident because he stopped Kovalev. So with that being said, Errol Spence is kind of known as a bigger world known to kind of fight off the front foot and front foot dominant and use his jab and go to the body on people or whatever. He doesn't really have to bat, fight off the back foot too much just because of his size and he imposes will on a lot of his uh, opponents. So, however... The thing is, when he fights Sean Porter, we know how Sean Porter, what he brings to the table. What I want to know is, would that actually work against Errol Spence? If it works, the fight could be interesting. Because uh, when we think about it, we haven't seen anybody that really goes to Errol's body for the whole fight. That could slow him down. He might throw only 700 punches this fight. Who knows? But I think that's what Errol, Sean Porter needs to do to Errol Spence try to bully the bully because he cannot box with him it's not going to work with him he's going to have to fight nasty he's going to have to fight tough he's going to fight on the inside he's going to have to fight a perfect fight this is going to be the fight i will say this about arrow this is going to be this will be his best win if he if he stops sean porter or something like that or just watches sean porter this will be his best win because nobody's ever just watched sean porter nobody he's always in the competitive fight so if he gets Sean like what uh nine three ten two something like that, that's a wash. And you have to give Errol his respect, man. But I mean, that's a short video on kind of what I thought that Spence I didn't give not not technical saying what you do, but like something, some insight that I thought about. So I, I'm not like, can he bully Errol Spence we've not seen Errol Spence bully so uh, he's been preparing for that he sparred with uh David Benavidez and he also I believe he's been sparring with Demetrius Andrade as you know those guys fight at uh, 160 well once at 160 once at 168 so in the sparring and probably like people think sparring is about like who finna win and this and that but in the sparring is just working working on probably having a bigger body lean on you trying to see how you're going to react when you get tired so your mind tells your body you can do it because if you never experienced it 
you revert back to something that you always do. So probably working on some things to do some stuff. So it'd be interesting to see. Um, Cause we all know Demetrius Andrade is a great boxer and David Benavidez is a good boxer that's coming up as well. So those two guys should have Sean Porter and um, good fighting shape for this fight. I, I, I talk a lot about Errol and his fans, but I'm, I'm still, I'm still ready to see the fight. Uh, by all the BS, other BS crap that's going on, I'm still ready to see the fight. Unfortunately, you know, you fans love this fight because it's going to be like the last unification fight we probably get on PBC and Welterweight for a while because they got mandatories after this. No Manny Pacquiao. So, unfortunately, that's pretty much what's going to happen for after this fight. But uh, y'all guys know what to do, man. Appreciate y'all, man. You still watching this video, man.